Well, we've got Oreo and JJ. Oreo is the pit bull terrier and JJ is the Weimaraner. And they're playing, I think for the first time. Pretty sure it's the first time these two have played. <laughs> it's pretty darn cute. I gotta see how she's pecking at him, trying to get him to play with her. He's like, yeah, okay. Do it again, do it again. Do it again. Good kids. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. New friendship. Well, thank goodness. Oh, Oreo, don't be scared of him. That's just JJ. I can't believe you're scared. Did you have enough? Oh, did he scratch you or something? Oh, JJ, you gotta, you gotta play. I don't know what you did, but you upset Oreo. You gotta be a gentleman. Is is he not being a gentleman? JJ's usually a gentleman. Hi, hi, Kiwi. Whee! Get a Kiwi. Get a Kiwi. Hi, Callie. Hi, Kiwi. Hi, Chara. Hi, Leo. We're just up on the deck here at the Woofer Walker's Doggy Daycare Resort and Sanctuary. And I've been say if you've been watching the other videos, you'll know that it's been a very, very wet, flooded Friday, but we don't mind. Because, whoops, sorry, oh no. The day is not over until I've kick, kicked a woofer by accident or th kicked a ball at a woofer. I mean, not kicked a woofer. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's a wet, it, we got rained on really hard last night, so pretty wet but that's okay like I said we're having a lot of fun hello 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 and everybody is getting of course rinsed off and towel dried and some of them some of them some of the parents even paid for some uh, bubble baths and, and blow dries so that's pretty cool because the uh, the money that we collect for the bubble bath and the blow dry goes to our woofer sanctuary um yeah because we're also a sanctuary not just a doggy daycare not just a boarding facility for woofer vacations but also a sanctuary where we take in doggies that need homes or that need to be fostered or that uh, have been neglected and abandoned we try to rehome them and if we can't rehome them then they are welcome to live out the rest of their lives with us but you are a lucky girl aren't you oreo because you have a wonderful home and a great dad yes you do yes you do i'm sure your mother's lovely too i just haven't met her yet i only met your daddy this is one of our sanctuary woofers this is chara she is from the soy dog foundation in phuket thailand they rescue dogs from the illegal dog meat trade there. And Chara is one of the ones that we fostered and we ended up keeping. Not because she's a foster fail so much as the fact that Chara, well, she's got some issues. She's incontinent um, due to something that happened to her in Thailand. She got hit by a car and all of that. So we figured, why not let her stay? Because nobody was going to adopt a leaky, a leaky dog anyway, right? A leaky woofer, pardon me. And we love her now. I mean, gosh. What's not to love about Chara? What's not to love about Chara? Oh, I love you so much. I love you. I love you. She's one of the funniest woofers I've ever met. Hello again. Do you need love too? Do you need love too? Hello, Oreo. Kiwi's here on vacation. JJ the Weimaraner's here on vacation. Leo, that little guy that also looks like a Sheba, is uh, our one of our newest, uh, one of our newest uh, rescue sanctuary woofers. He's one of those woofers I was talking about that was neglected. He was left in somebody's backyard for four years. They never let him in. So, and then they moved and just left him, pretty much, just left him in the yard, and we came and collected him. Yeah, and we just love him. He's actually such a great guy. I think he is going to be a foster fail, to be honest, because he's pretty darn cool, aren't you? Yes, we're much, we're very much in love with him. Hi, guys. Hi, Chara. Callie. Callie is the doodle. She's here for doggy daycare. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's Friday. 
and that is her sister from another mister, Fitbit. The only reason she's got a muzzle on is because she is deaf and she gets startled easily by the other woofers when they bump into her and then she thinks she's being attacked and she attacks them. So she has to have that, but please don't feel sorry for her because she doesn't have it on all day. She goes on a pack walk, AKA woofer walk with woofer walker Justin for the whole morning without her muzzle. And she's off leash and outdoors all that time, enjoying herself. It's just here at the, um, at, the, at the daycare sanctuary that she has to wear that so that she doesn't accidentally hurt anyone by accident. I know I said accident twice. I just wanna make sure everybody understands why she's got it on. She's not vicious or anything. She just gets startled because she's deaf. Hi. Anywho, wishing everybody a really happy Friday. I'm probably not going to make more videos. Maybe once we're all settled inside for the, and waiting for everyone to pick up their woofers and starting supper for, for the beasties, maybe one more later.